Mark here from Just BB Guns. I'm going to show you something very, very special. This is from UHC. This is a sniper rifle, 6mm airsoft gun, and it's a Super X9. And the great thing about this gun, you can use it as a spring gun just for just using the air bolt, or the gas bolt turns it into a gas sniper, which is something really, really special. It comes with a lot of bits and pieces. I've actually gone through the gun in detail, put it together and um, there's no issues the quality of the gun is fantastic there is no issues with this gun whatsoever the only issue is there is a couple of do's and don'ts that you will get in trouble with if you don't watch this video all the way through or don't look at the manual the manual is excellent the manual is in english and it is a very detailed manual and runs through what to do as long as you follow the instructions you won't have a problem with this gun it is a very good gun now we sell the gun as a set comes with everything you see and all the bits and pieces which i'm going to run through if you buy the gun on its own it still comes with a bipod and it still comes with all the bits and pieces the only thing it doesn't come with if you buy a gun on its own is it doesn't come with the scope or the mount so if you've got a scope and mount just buy the gun if you want the scope and mounts as well then buy the set so more information about what scope you get and bits and pieces on our website. Let's run through what you get. Obviously you get the rifle that comes pre-built so you don't actually have to build this. There's no, there's no putting together. The only thing you have to do is just put on the bipod. It has a rail on the bottom and the top. So easy fitting your scope and your bipod because it has the rails, top and bottom standard rails. And they're metal as well, which is really good. You get the gas bolt in the gun, you get a spring bolt that you can replace the gas one just to use it as a normal spring air rifle, uh, airsoft rifle. It um, comes with a rotating magazine, it comes with the shells for the magazine, it comes with what they call a, I think they call it metal or copper shell. This is a little um, conversion that goes in here when you're using the side magazine and also you must use this when you're using the gas bolt so we'll go go into that more detail in a moment comes with a 0.25 gram bbs green ones sniper bbs um, recommended for this gun it says that you can use 0.20 um, but they recommend 0.25 gram bbs and up to 35 gram bbs um, it would probably fire 40s but 35 is max i would put in there and also comes with a dust cover, a little dust cover that goes in the front of the gun to keep the dust out. Um, this is good for a number of different things, which I'll show you about. Also, in this box, which is the shells, you get a bag, but also there is a small multi-tool, which, which you will need as well. So I'm gonna, I'll get that out now and um, put to one side. Just a small piece of metal really, but uh, quite a multi-tool. Step one, let me show you how you set the gas bolt up. You put the bits on to use the gas bolt. First stage is to remove the bolt. So on the bottom, just by the trigger guard, there is a switch. So you just push that, that, that switch forward and pull the trigger guard down. Then turn the bolt and release the bolt. So turn it anti-clockwise and slide it out. You can see it's a really great bit of kit, really heavy quality. So then get what they call the uh, metal or brass, they call it metal or brass um, shell. That's gonna slide in, in the top here. And you must use this with a gas bolt, slides in and lines up with this hole. This is where the external mag goes and that hole there must line up with that hole there to feed the BBs. So it's very easy, you put a hand at the bottom, thumb or something in there, line it up and then just slide it in. You can see that, but that slides in and the line lines up there. Then you want to put your bolt back in. So again, make sure your trigger guard is all the way down. Slide the bolt in. Put it into position, push it down, and then push your trigger back up. There is a little tip. You see, there's a little nut, just a little black Allen key nut there. That's in line. That's got to be in line with the safety switch, which is here. 
So now your bolts in there, ready to go. You've got your converter, I call it a converter, inline converter, but they call it a metal shell in there. Now we're gonna put the side mag on. The side mag has a little hole at the top here for feeding the BBs in. And you put the top in first. So you just slide that top into that hole, push down, and then at the bottom here, there's a switch, a little retaining switch. So that's on there now. It's very simple to uh, install. Just show that again. Into the top there. Line it up at the bottom and switch it in. If you lose any of these bits, they're all available on the website separately. So it's not a problem. Now we've got the gas bolt in place, the metal shell converter, and the side magazine is all on your gun, ready to go. Now, if you don't have a scope on here, you can fill the gas bolt simply with the gas like that. If you've got a magazine, thank you my eye, if you get a, ga a magazine, uh, sorry, a scope on the top here, then you need to take the bolt out. But again, it's very easy. You just follow the same instructions, push the bolt, the little switch forward, pull down the trigger guard, turn and release. Then once you release that, it makes it very, very easy to fill. And that's ready to go. Put that back into the gun. Again, make sure the trigger guard's down. Put the bolt in. Now, you can see on here, there's a little black uh, grommet. Allen key grommet. When you put that in and push down, that should be in line with the safety switch. Safety switch is just here. So if that's in line, it's easy, it all goes together. So then you set the gun as normal and then fire. Now I'm going to show you how to fill the BBs. Again, magazine just on the side here. You just pull the spring down. I'll show you to the camera. Pull the magazine down and then you singly pour or with a speed loader, put your BBs into here. So they fill up down here and then release. Now that's on the top. So when you've got your scope on the top, it could be a little bit fiddly to get it in there. They will just drop in there, should be fine. We have on our website, an upgraded version of the mag, side mag, and this one actually has the hole on the front. So when that's on there, the difference is that you're dropping in from the top, this you're dropping in from the side, if you like, once it's on the gun. Makes it a little bit easier. So that's a, a, another mag you can buy for the gun, but this one is absolutely fine. It's just a little bit fiddly if you've got your uh, scope on the top. The other thing I'm going to just show you before we change it to the spring and show you that, there's a hop up just here on the top of the barrel and this is where you need your multi-tool just to adjust that hop up. So let's take off the side magazine, it just comes off like that. Let's take out the magazine, uh, the, I keep calling it magazine, the gas bolt by pushing forward, dropping down and release. At this point you need to take out the metal uh, shell, what they call the metal shell. The easiest way to do this is actually with this rubberized um, end cap because it just goes in there very easily and you can just pull it down and it's not going to scratch anything because it's rubber just to get that out. Then we get our spring bolt, pull down the trigger guard, slide in, drop down and push trigger guard back up. And now you've got a standard spring rifle. So I've taken the front converter out, what I call the converter. So let me show you how you put the shells into the rotating magazine. First of all, you get your shell pack and there's 10 in here. Don't worry if you lose these or some of these because we sell these separately on the website. 
So, get your shells, get your BB. You can do this with a speed loader all by hand. There's a plain plastic end if you like, and there's a bit with a rubber insert. So you just drop it into the rubber insert. And you do that, I've done that already with a few of them. Let's just put uh, five in. So I've got five here, all ready to go. Get your rotating magazine, just simply push it into the top and slide it back. And the next one, push the that one down and slide it back. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly, but I think that's all part of the, uh, the fun. And another one. So they're in there ready to go. Move a few bits out of the way. So this magazine slides in the bottom here. You just simply, obviously facing forward, clip into position. Now what's very cool about this gun is when you actually fire the shot and then you reset it to reload a new shell, the, the shell that's fired the BB will eject out, just like a, a real rifle. So I'm going to show you that now. Pull it down and into position, close it down, and that's ready to fire. We'll fire it to the ground because I'm not wearing any eye protection. Now if you watch carefully, as I pull down, and it, if you watch inside, it's really neat how it loads the next one. and empty so that's very very cool there is um a, a knack of getting this shell out as well it's a bit stiff when you first put it in when you put it down again i'm using the rubber you need to somehow get your finger in there there you go to put it out it's very tight the first few times you use it and then it, it does fit really well so just to recap because this is the most important bit really is now i want to change the spring bolt, I'm just going to push that button forward, release the pressure first of all, push that forward, pull the trigger guard down, turn and release. Don't forget if you're putting the gas one in, you need this, I'm just going to quickly recap, you need this inline tool, which I call a metal shell, I believe. Line the hole up, as easy as that. Get your gas bolt slide it in, put it into position. Again, that little black grommet in line with the safety. Push down, locks into position, clicks in, and then your gas is ready to go. Fill it either at the side, or you can fill it by taking the, the uh, and don't forget you do need the side mag when you're using gas. Do not use the shells, do not use the plastic shells with the gas bolt. And that's it. That's uh, a quick overall of the gun and how it works. A um, little bit tricky when you first get it to figure out what uses air and what uses gas, but I hope that video does help. It's a really, really lovely gun. The hop-up is excellent on it. The power is great. Um, the manufacturer is saying 400. I'm saying 350, so anywhere between 350 and 400 FPS. So it's a very good, high-powered, airsoft sniper rifle. Buy the set with the scope or buy the gun on its own to not get the scope, basically. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, sorry I went on quite a long time, but as I said, there's quite a lot to this gun. And um, But don't panic. It has a really excellent um, English manual that comes with it. Um, and uh, you shouldn't get into any trouble at all. If you do, our support guys are there to help. Thanks for watching.